your past is a gift okay guys so i started a conversation earlier and then <laughs> got sidetracked stay with me because i do that a lot but sometimes there's a thought and it just goes into that and i just follow it because i feel that each video each message will be important in its own way for everybody so the thought was about criticism now there is such a thing as constructive criticism okay and that's the one where you're actually trying to teach someone something to build okay on their strengths or on what they're working on so if they're trying to learn something okay constructive criticism will help them improve in that way criticism is helpful okay and there's there's ways of making people feel that you're guiding them with your criticism okay of what they can do better but not make them feel that they're not good enough okay there's a way of saying things and so you've got to be so careful with the words that you use so when you are trying to help someone okay get better at something at whatever skills they're trying to learn okay always use words that build them up that help them to see that they can do it okay help them believe in themselves enough that if they keep working at it they will get better at it okay and they can do it because a lot of times people think they're giving constructive criticism but all it does is make someone feel that oh i can't do it then it's all too hard it's beyond my capability you know how they they criticize the work so i'm all for constructive criticism when it's helpful you know it's helping someone build their skills then yes please do help in that way but the videos I've been talking about are not about that kind of criticism okay it's about when people are putting other people down for whatever reason because usually it's because they're different okay they're just judging it so that's not constructive criticism you know you're not helping anyone build any skills or get better at anything by picking on them and judging them and criticizing them that they're different in any way okay so that's what I want you to think about today you can help someone you know with constructive criticism because you may have more skills you may be really good at doing something and someone's trying to learn from you and so you can teach them and give them more skills you know and you have to tell them well you know you, that's good the way you've done it now is good but you know maybe try this and see if you know that works better this is what teachers do all the time we have to look at what you know the student is doing and say you know praise the good things you know well that was good you really like what you did there you know it's getting better always encouraging so that the student feels that it's in their grasp it's not something that's beyond them you know it's too hard for them and then you build a little bit at a time you know maybe try this and see how it sounds if you try that you know or see how it works if you do it this way i'm just going back to my piano teaching days of <laughs> you know try this and then try that and then but you know when you are offering a criticism always try and encourage always try and build confidence always try and help the other person get you know more skills in what they're trying to learn but always stay away from try and stay away from the criticizing to put down you know when you do criticize someone if it's not going to be helpful to them in any way if it's not going to help them improve anything then don't bother you know it's just a judgment what you're doing is just a judgment and like i said in previous videos any judgment in the end is going to bite you in the butt but that's just the way it is okay because you're always putting things into it's right or it's wrong you're always labeling everything okay and judgment comes from a place where you're not accepting and it usually starts from you're not accepting who you are that's where it starts and you know for a lot of people we grow up in judgment you know the adults around us are constantly judging everything this isn't right this is wrong you know this and that's what you grow up with you know but it's up to you now to understand that as long as you're judging 
that something is right or something is wrong, you're not accepting it as it is. So really think about that. See if you can understand that. Because many times, the things that you judge that are wrong now, you're gonna find later in life, you'll go, you'll end up doing them, okay? And then you'll be like, oh. <laughs> but you'll still feel bad because you've judged it as wrong and now you're doing it, you know? So I was there, I was one of those people, you know, with my mum and her yelling and I'm never gonna yell at my kids and then next thing I know, I'm yelling at mine. To me, that was unacceptable. I had a judgment completely against it. And then you find yourself doing it. So what do you do? You have to rethink your judgments. You know, well, now what do I do with it? Is it still wrong? Because now I'm doing it. So many things that we judge that we say are wrong or unacceptable. So many things. And I really want you to think today because judging means that you're not accepting it as it is. And that goes for everything. So, you know, when you judge yourself, and for the most part, we judge our, ourselves really harshly. Okay, we're always putting ourselves down, we're never good enough, all of that. That all comes from judgment. You're not accepting that this is who you are, these are the skills that you have, let's build from there. Okay, we were talking about before, constructive criticism. <laughs> These are the skills I have. I want to learn to do new things. Let's build from there. Okay, but, you know, when you judge, you're never going to be good enough. <laughs> and it goes for everything else. All the people outside of you, you're judging. They're never going to be good enough. And it comes from that place of not being good enough. You're not accepting each and every person that comes into your life as they are because you can't accept who you are. It starts, it always starts at home. It always starts with you, always. So I want you to think about that today. When you judge something, think about why have you decided that that's right? Or why have you decided that that's wrong? Where did that come from? Is it an old belief that's been passed down through the generations, been going on forever, but it's no longer valid? Why are we holding on to it then? You know? So think about that today because as long as you keep judging things, you'll never be free. It's like this cage we've all put ourselves into. Judgment is a cage. You put yourself in there and then you're never free because you're always judging everything. You're criticizing everything. You're never accepting things as they are. So I want you to think about that today. I really want you to think about it you to break out of that cage but it needs to start with you you need to accept who you are wherever you are in your life in this point in time don't worry about what you know others have said to you you need to accept who you are to be able to stop the judging accept who you are and be happy with that you know that you don't need to be like anyone else. You don't need to be like your parents, however brilliant they may be. You know, you don't need to be like your siblings. You're not. No siblings, no two siblings are ever alike. They each want to do their own thing. They do. You know, not two siblings are going to like broccoli. Not the same two siblings are going to like carrots. Not the same, you know, it's just all the same clothes or the same hairstyles. Or, you're each individuals, you're each your own person. So don't even compare with your siblings, you know, or your neighbours or anyone else. Just look at who you are and start there. Start looking at what you like, what you don't like, what you're good at. Build from there. Okay, so we'll go more into this in the next video of how we can shift away from judging and not being good enough and moving into a place where we can expand, we can grow, we can finally be who we're meant to be. Like, be yourself without worrying about what everyone else is doing. Okay? All right, my darling, it's gone along, so I'll just finish it there. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video, okay?